This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 8, Boolean Expressions and If Statements, Part 16. You try it. This example is very similar to the worked example on the previous page. It is a version of the Movie Age Checker that uses a dropdown. We've provided the starting UI elements, including the dropdown, but none of the code. Do this. Using the example of the previous page as a guide, Add an event handler from the drop-down menu that triggers on change. Add an if statement to check if the age in the drop-down is greater than or equal to 13 and set the result and set the text in the result label. If the age is 13 or over, set the text to you're old enough to see a PG-13 movie alone. Otherwise, set the text to you're not old enough to see a PG-13 movie alone. Tip Use get number ID instead of get text ID to get the value out of out of the drop down. That makes sense because it will be an integer or a number instead of a string. One major difference from from the example is that we want to compare the value of the drop down to a number using greater than or and or equal to rather than uh, the equality operator. You should or equal to. You should. You should use you should use get number age drop down to extract the values as a number rather than text. This is the same reason we use prompt instead of prompt num instead of prompt for simple council examples. It still works if you get text, but isn't good form. Yeah, it's not technically good design. Let's go to design. I'm gonna click here, okay, and where you want events, insert and show code. All right. So what we need, we got our event handler. That triggers on change. Great. Add an if statement to check if the chose the age chosen in the drop down. Yep. So now we need to go to control, and we need an if else statement most likely. I can always add though or uh, delete the else. So we're going to do. We have a here. We don't want any of this actually. Must be in UI. We need greater than or equal to, and we want get number like they say you'd, and from our age drop down, if it is greater than or equal to 13, you are not old enough. Okay. So control, nope set text and then we're going to need this for both result i'm just going to right click copy no i'm not okay so it should be triggered upon clicking it should grab our the age from the drop down we should check if it's greater than or equal to 13 if it is it will run this and set the text here else it will run this keep in mind oops need to set it it will never run both at the same time so if we are greater our age is older than 13 it will display you are old enough to see the movie it will not it will skip the else if we are less than 13 this will be false it says it skips this and only runs the else they never run both at the same time Let's check. Let's try it out. <laughs> oh, perfect. But uh Awesome. Great. That's kind of cool. And this is what was working for me. The git numbers uh important. Let's uh keep going. <laughs> 